Now this is a patient of uh, cirrhosis of the liver and uh, what I wish to show you is that there is a clot seen within the dilated uh, portal vein. This is the this is the portal vein. This is the clot. It is sparing the upper part of the portal vein and the clot measures approximately 3.7 cm into 2 cm and uh, the portal vein measures 22 mm up to 13 uh, uh, is considered normal. So this is what we are seeing with black and white. Uh, now this is the uh, gallbladder. Let me show you the liver. This is the liver. See the outer surface of the liver. It's irregular and coarse texture. Rest, there is no Foucaultian scene. However, the only finding in this patient, apart from cirrhosis and saplanomegaly, is uh, this clot. And now you see that the blood flow is goes anterior to the and a little. See, this is the portal vein. This is the clot, this white area, and the uh, portal vein here from in, in its extra hepatic part is patent. And uh, as it enters the liver, we see that the supply is cut off in this region of the clot. It, though the clot is non-obstructive, it's not completely obstructing the lumen of the portal vein. So that's the reason we can see. Uh, blood flow anterior and posterior to this clot within the portal vein. Here, you see again. So it's uh, not a completely obstructive sort of a clot, but it is there. And on this side, wish to show you the supreme. See the. This is the supplenic vein. It's not dilated. And the supreme measures in length, 21.8 centimeters. So this is case of the day. Thank you.